the enterprise if it does come. <laughs> but <laughs> I think you're right, Jim. Yeah, but racism um, can be overcome. We socialize our kids from the beginning of their consciousness to believe that they somehow are superior to pe people of different cultures um, and that being different is somehow being bad. If, it's, uh, if you do have to be taught to hate, you do have to be taught to be a racist, then it is equally true that you can be untaught. But let me turn that around. Do you believe that you have to be taught to hate? Of course you do. Oh, absolutely. Of course you do. South Pacific was right in that uh, musical. It said, do you have to be taught? Do you have to be taught? Do you have to be carefully taught to hate? And it is true. Children, uh, before they are socialized by their parents and their peers and their schools, don't hate people because of differences. So yes, that, is, that is the reason, Richard, why so many Americans, white Americans, do not feel or understand that they are racist. They are racist involuntarily. It's the way things have always been, and they think they're being American, and if you're American, you are racist. Now, may I say, one of the things about Malcolm was that um, in his pre mecca days, he believed that white racism was genetic. In other words, they had it. God, or Allah, as he would have put it, gave it to them, and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, after Mecca, he saw that that was not true. He, in Mecca, saw white Muslims worshiping Allah, kneeling beside him. And he was convinced then that racism, as he had witnessed it in America, was learned and not genetic. And if it is learned, I repeat, it can be unlearned. So, Jim, nearly 30 years ago, you said you thought it would take maybe five years, maybe ten years, and you could go fishing. <laughs> <laughs> when I remind yes. you of that, yeah, you but why it is right? I'll go fishing in the next life. Now, yeah, both of us, both of us were more optimistic about the possibility of change in American society than we needed to be. And I confess, in this redo, that. Uh, Malcolm was more accurate about an assessment of where America was on race than we were at that point in time. Yes, but the funny thing is he began to change his position. Well, as Jim, Jim, Jim has him. been given a very clear analysis of how the two strains of philosophy move toward each other. And I think he's absolutely accurate in that regard, is that the uh, civil rights movement as we knew it in the 60s, uh, incorporated as a part of it its black identity, Afrocentrism, and Malcolm softened his position about all white people being blue-eyed devils. Mm -hmm. And he, that's, a, that's an absolutely clear and straightforward analysis of what has happened. The side effect has been that with the rise of ethnic pride, somehow, in a bizarre way, uh, the ethnic pride of blacks has induced in other ethnic communities, it has sharpened their resentment and hostility that, toward people who are not too. like that's that. That's true, too. I, I do want to emphasize that we made some changes. Wyatt made some changes. The SCLC made some changes. And CORE did, too, in this country. We did wipe out Jim Crow for all practical purposes. We just overestimated the impact that would have on changing the life condition of the black American. And I think it needs to be said, uh, although it doesn't sound like from my earlier comments, uh, it, it was a significant change. Yes. When you consider that segregation, both by mores and by legal fiat, had been in place for nearly a hundred years, and our movement in a decade and a half completely dismantled segregation yes. by mores that and fiat. Right. So that is a significant, yeah. but it did not solve the deeper problem, as Jim has outlined, about racism that was in the body politic of, of this nation. And I believe that we can solve that problem, too. You think there are going to be those, there'll be Malcolms out there, Malcolm then, when we all were together nearly 30 years ago, who will say that's more soft-headed thinking, that's more pie in the sky by and by. But the second Malcolm, from the time of his visit to Mecca, right. would say that's not pie in the sky, it can be done. Is, is that so true? Yes, Was that disillusionment true. on his no, part? With no, no, it is true, it can be done, but it has to be done with intentionality and aggressiveness on the part True. of our government. And our True. government has never been intentional enough nor aggressive enough on seeing to it that every American citizen is guaranteed the right of access to everything all other Americans have. But and I cite as an example the fact that we've had in 